Hello and welcome to The Fun Casino, the channel created to help you beat online casinos and bookmakers. If you're interested in making money from online casinos and bookmakers, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out our website. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens in roulette when the ball lands on zero. If you're also asking what happens when the ball lands on double zero, then you're playing the wrong game. A roulette wheel with double zero has one purpose and one purpose only, and that's to make the casino more money. You can expect to lose twice as much money playing on a roulette table with double zero. Please, if you can, walk away from the table and go and play the European version with just a single zero. Even better, if there's a French roulette table, go and play there. We'll explain why later in the video. Okay. Now that we've made sure you're only playing a roulette table with a single zero, let's look at what happens when zero is the winning number. This is different depending on the types of bets you're making, so be sure to stay until the end of the video. Let's start with inside bets. Notice that I said winning number. This indicates that as a player you can still win money when the ball lands on zero. We can place certain bets on the layout that include zero. Because of the roulette layout, these bets can appear strange, but the payouts for these bets are logical. We can place a straight up bet on zero, just like any other number on the roulette wheel. In fact, zero is one of the most popular numbers players like to bet on. The payout for this is the same odds as any other number. Just because it's green does not mean it pays more or less. There are three split bets that cover zero and another number, 1 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0. Covering two numbers pays odds of 17 to 1. The number 0 offers two street bets that many beginners are unfamiliar with. A street bet covers three numbers and pays odds of 11 to 1. You can see on the roulette layout this can be covered by placing a chip on either 0, 1 and 2 or 0, 2 and 3. As well as street bets, there's also a corner bet available, despite it not looking like a corner. Remember, corner bets cover four numbers, and we can do that by placing a bet on the layout to cover 0, 1, 2 and 3. The odds for this bet are 8 to 1. Now let's move on to outside bets. Unfortunately, the phrase winning number is not going to be a winning number for us. When playing American and European roulette tables, when the ball lands in zero, then all of the outside bets are losers. That's not the case for playing French roulette and we'll explain why shortly. But it makes logical sense that zero would be a losing number for all of the outside bets. It's not in any dozen, it's not in any column, it's neither red or black, certainly not between 1 and 18 or 19 to 36. You could potentially argue that zero is an even number. According to Wikipedia, zero is classed as an even number. However, you could argue this with the casino manager all night long. There is absolutely no chance they're going to pay out this bet. If they did, this would create a significant edge for the player when betting on the even section. And if there's one thing casinos don't want to do, it's give the players too much of an advantage to their games. If you are looking for strategies to beat online casinos, then subscribe to the channel, visit our website and check out the links in the description below. I mentioned earlier that it's best to play French roulette if you can. That's because of a rule called la partage. Apologies for my pronunciation. This rule means that you will only lose half of your money if you're betting on an even chance bet and the ball lands in zero. If you're betting on columns or dozens, then I'm afraid you will still lose all of your money. Casinos offering French roulette that give half of your money back when zero is the winning number are becoming less and less. If you're watching this video a few years after it's been recorded, the French version may no longer exist. As an Englishman, it's strange for me to say, but the French version is much better. Players have come to expect they will lose all their money on the outside chances and therefore casinos are no longer incentivized to reduce their profits by giving half of it back to the player. To summarize, you can still win money by betting on zero, but if you're playing the outside chances, if the ball lands in zero, you can expect to say goodbye to your money. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.